Today, we're going to show you some of the cool ways to use wild hog panels to create a one-of-a-kind railing for your deck. Wild hog railing creates high quality hog wire panels that are great for decks, patios, or anything you can think of. The panels are so open-ended that many of our customers have asked us what they're supposed to do with them. So today, we're going to take a look at some of the ways wild hog panels can be integrated into your railing system and give you some advice on how to get started. First up, however, you're going to need to know your local building code and restrictions. Any new railing project must adhere to local building codes. It's important to pay close attention not only to the rail height requirements and spacing, but also the materials that are to be used. Wild Hog products at Dex Direct are powder-coated steel and generally adhere to code. However, local ordinances may determine how panels must be constructed to meet requirements. You'll also want to make sure you have the right tools to do the job when you set out to install Wild Hog railing. Depending on how Wild Hog panels are installed, the tools needed for the job may be different in each case. But any construction project requires basic tools, such as a tape measure, level, and speed square. A handheld drill and any relevant bits are required for any job with Wild Hog. Cutting lumber or metal will require a saw and an appropriate blade. For cutting channels into wood posts and rails, a wood router is also required. A Wild Hog project can be done with many tools and in any number of ways. It is the responsibility of the builder to use their tools responsibly. Now that we've covered the basics, let's take a look at what you can do with the Wild Hog panels. Wild Hog panels provide an amazing rustic look in a wood frame. The question is, what method should be used to secure Wild Hog panels between two posts? Many projects begin by building a wood frame around all four sides of a panel and fastening the frame between the posts. This can also be achieved by pressing the end of a panel between two lengths of wood to make up one post and doing the same on the other end. Using a router to cut channels into your wood posts and rails can conceal the bare ends of the panel, maximizing viewing space and cutting down on weight. For heavy gauge Tahoe panels, you can drill holes into the deck rails and posts for a similar effect. In all cases, adding rubberized hog tusks will help prevent corrosion at the bare ends of wild hog panels. Drilling weep holes for rain into your bottom rail will also help preserve metal and wood alike. Hog tracks are an aluminum channel for wild hog panels that ensure a quick, clean installation. With hog tracks, cutting channels into your wood posts and rails isn't required. The hog tracks can be attached to the rails and posts, providing a unique metal frame to set your wild hog panels into. Like with the wood panel installation, fitting hog tusks onto the bare ends of the steel panel will help prevent corrosion. After securing the panel, drilling weep holes through the tracks and bottom rail will further help protect the wood and steel. And while it's not required, you can still cut channels into your posts and rails and install hog tracks within them for a flush installation. Either way, hog tracks add a stylish embellishment to the classic look of wild hog railing. Though wild hog is typically installed with wood posts and rails, you can also use wild hog with other railing materials such as aluminum. When paired with Westbury's Veranda aluminum railing as seen here, Wild Hog is used as if it was a glass panel. This look can be achieved by drilling pilot holes for the ends of the wire panel into the posts, then fitting the panel inside before finishing the railing section. This is an advanced method of installation, but is definitely one of the most unique ways to use Wild Hog. There are many ways to integrate Wild Hog panels into your deck's railing. If you'd like to add Wild Hog railing to your deck, but you're not sure where to start, you can always find us at DexDirect.com. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Mike and I'm part of the customer experience team here at DexDirect. If you have any questions or comments, call us at 888-824-5316 or you can visit us at DexDirect.com. And if you found this video helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you.